Hey, what is going on guys? I have a Samsung Galaxy Tab S5e here. I'm gonna show you how to fix a black screen to death, or maybe it's frozen or unresponsive, or maybe you're caught in a constant boot loop, okay? In this video, we don't have to take anything apart, so this is the first thing that you wanna do before you take it to a repair shop or before you have to pry open the back, okay? So let's just pretend we have an issue with this uh, tablet here, okay? Let's just pretend, um, Let's pretend I have a black screen and it's also frozen and I'm in a boot loop, okay? First thing we wanna to try to do is force it to restart, okay? So now, now those of you that have like a black screen, you know that it is still on because maybe you can feel it vibrate or you hear some um, something ring or something like that, okay? Anyways, force restart, okay? So we have the power button here and the volume down button here, okay? So what you wanna do is press and hold both of those buttons and wait till we see the Galaxy logo appear. Okay, so let's try this, ready? Power button, volume down. And let's pretend, let's pretend I have a black screen. I don't see nothing on the screen. Ready, one, two, three. Hold, press and hold both buttons. I'm still holding on both buttons. I'm not gonna let go. I'm not gonna let go until I see a Galaxy logo appear. Let's just pretend it's still black. I don't see nothing on my screen. I'm just waiting for that Galaxy logo to appear. And there it is. Now I'll go ahead and let go, and hopefully your tablet is, you know, not frozen no more. It's uh, being responsive now. It's not in a boot loop. And if you had a black screen, you're actually able to see what's on the screen now. Now, for those of you that still have a black screen, what I want you to do next is go ahead and plug your tab in, okay? Go ahead and give it power, okay? So it's currently plugged in right now and what I want to do is I want to let, let it sit here for about 10 minutes Give it some extra juice after 10 minutes I'm gonna come back here and I'm gonna do the same thing power button volume down. I'm gonna press and hold both of these buttons I'm not gonna let go. I'm gonna to continue to hold these until I see that Samsung Galaxy logo appear. I'm still holding on to both the buttons. I don't know what's going on to my screen Just hold I'm just hoping that Galaxy symbol or logo pops up and there you go, you can let go and hopefully your tab is back up and running. Now, if it's still down, I mean, you may have to try the force restart method five or six times, okay? Another possibility is that your screen ribbon in the back is actually loose. So rather than taking, taking everything apart and then pulling your screen ribbon out and then plug it back in, we can try this as well, okay? So go ahead and grab your tab here. Now what I want, now what I want you to do is I want you to press firmly all over like this on the back okay use your thumbs also what you can do is if you have something soft here on the bottom I have like a big mouse pad down here you can do this press in all over all over the back do this for like one or two minutes just keep pushing in keep turning it over and go ahead and press the power button and hopefully you see your screen light up if not turn it back over and keep doing the same thing especially like I think it's like in like this area here, this area here. But anyways, just go along everything, okay? Keep pressing in there. Also, I want you to do this. Go with the back of your hand like this. And tap it. Keep doing this for a while. Go ahead and grab your uh, tab. Press the power button. See if you get a display that comes on. If not, do the same thing with the power, okay? Now from here, go ahead and plug it back in. Let it charge for another 10 minutes and do the same thing. Power button, volume down, press and hold until you see that Samsung Galaxy logo appear. Now for most of you, your Galaxy tab is gonna be up and running. However, for those of you that don't have it running, what you're gonna to have to do is actually bring it to a repair shop or what you can do is basically pry the back open here and then you have to go ahead and disconnect the screen ribbon and then plug it back in. Also, while you're doing that, you should go ahead and disconnect the battery for one minute and then plug it back in. I'm not gonna show you how to do that because there's already a thousand other YouTube videos that show you exactly how to do that. Anyways, guys, if this method worked for you, give me a thumbs up. If it did not work for you, give me a thumbs down. I'll see you guys in the next one.